Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is the combo box get option at index node. So this is our get option at index node. What it does is it takes in a combo box, takes in an index. I'm going to do one for example and returns back a string value. In this case, if I hit play on the top left, it said the word carrots. If we look at our combo box, carrots is our second option. Remember our combos here, our options are in an array and they start at zero. So zero is our first option and one is our second, which is carrots. We can see that here in our designer, we have an array. We have zero is their first index, one is their second, and here's our options. So it's really that simple. Simply tells us what is the option currently at this index. If we put an invalid index in, let's say I go with five. We only have two indexes in our array, and I'm asking it for the fifth one. It's going to return back nothing. We have nothing there. Therefore, our return value is going to be nothing. Now, this could be useful, for example, if you want to print out or find out all your options. And whenever I say options, I mean the string itself. In a combo box, you could loop through them all and then print them all out at once. So in this case, I'm doing that, and you can see this is our default option, and carrots is printed out because I'm looping through all of my combo box items and increasing the index each time based on how many I have in there, and then printing it out. So that's it. That is our get option at index node. Takes in a combo box as a target, takes in an index, and outputs a string. If you have a valid index, it'll be an actual option string with the words that are in it. If you have an invalid index, it will be nothing or blank.